Welcome back. <laughs>this is the gucci backpack so this is one of my other options as far as backpacks so it's between this one versus the fendi which one should i keep you guys let me know down below so here we go let's see okay you guys here we go here it is gorgeous gorgeous let me peek yep 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 gorgeous i don't like that the second g is kind of speckled that's my only only um major dislike with the bag i'm sure not all bags come like this not all gg marmot bags come like this the chevron is one of the designs that has been trending this is just me the red is me um the quality you guys the quality of this bag is amazing the leather oh my gosh buttery buttery soft oh in love in love um my only concern is this bag does retail for 1980 if you can find it um at a retail location at a boutique it has i think if i'm not mistaken neiman marcus might still have it um, I'm not sure if in this color or what colors are still available. I did check out the Gucci website. It's not on the Gucci website. Just the chain link one that we had first reviewed is on the website. This one is not on the website. Um, I love, gosh, you guys, the way this sits, stands on its own. Here's the bottom of the bag. No feet. That's fine. Like we said in the other bag, possibly if there was feet. If you overstuff, the middle might sag, but this has, well, no, the bottom feels about the um, same, but let's review the back. Quilted front, quilted back. Again, this one does not have the heart that some of the Marmont pieces have right here. Um, some of the flat bags and stuff like that do have the heart. This one does not. Um, straps, here we go with straps. This one has more a of a buckle belt buckle type it does not have the push pins i personally i mean with the fendi i love the push pins if you guys see that's on the very last hole here there's not very much wasted strap love that fact you want to make sure you get the most use or the most flexibility for your money it is two thousand dollars one thousand nine hundred and eighty so you do want to make sure that um, it's versatile enough for you. I love the fact that I can make it shorter, I can make it longer. Again, I did like the crossbody feature in the Fendi. This one, I would only wear it as a backpack. I would have to wear it this way. Um, I'd have to wear it this way to be able to get use out of it when I'm shopping. A little inconvenient for me, not for everyone. Um, a lot of people, I see a lot of people carrying backpacks all the time, especially when I travel and their backpacks are on their back. Usually the, mine is too, unless I'm shopping, then it comes to the front. Cause like I mentioned in the last video, gotta open it, gotta get my stuff out, gotta get my payment out, all that nonsense. So here we go. So I showed you it's quilted in the front, it's quilted in the back, not on the bottom. This is the side, also not quilted, has these lovely little tabs, um, which let me tell you, will come in handy with this bag. The zipper on this particular bag, I don't know if it's like that with all of them, so if you have one, leave us a comment, let us know, is a little stiff. It's not easy to unzip and zip. Here's the top handle, you guys. Again, all smooth on the top. Let me move these out of your way. Um, all smooth on the top, Ooh. right? Here's the top handle. Love, love, love. Very comfortable, very soft, very um, strong in itself, right? Um, here it is. The only thing, what I was looking at earlier in the video was to see if you can bring these down. If you can possibly pull them down when you're not using it so it's not sticking up and it just kind of lays flat on top of it. No, you cannot. They are... Actually, I believe they are sewn. Yep, they are sewn directly onto the bag. So no, you cannot bring these up. 
again zipper tabs on both sides um the pulls come with more leather gorgeous 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 do love that a lot makes for easy clothes if i was holding the bag right like this trying to open it i have to hold it down to open it right to get my stuff out it's not like i can just like well obviously even if it had stuff i don't think it'd be that easy or you probably can hold it with your top handle open the zippers now you guys this is where the critical situation of the matter comes in if it's your bag if you want to get good resale value for it if you want to take care of your bag do not i don't even want to show you guys do not and this is what i saw with most of them so they had like you see how the gg it looks like it's creasing but it's not right it's because of the gg but most of them had creasing right here right about where the zipper ends like right here straight across why because everyone's opening their bags like this they're making this flip forward you do not want to do that with this bag nobody wants to pay fifteen hundred dollars because that's about the price they're going for on fashion file no one wants to pay fifteen hundred dollars for a lightly used bag with a big old crease on the side no one my suggestion don't do that maybe do more of a of a like this right where you open it like this you're squishing the sides in now if you notice when you squish this does bend Will it get a crease? It might, it might, but it's not gonna get the crease that it's getting here. So here we go. If you see, there is, oh, I, can't, I still can't manage to figure out how to do this. Okay, here we go. You have two pockets there. We'll get to those in a second. And then, uh, come on, yo. <laughs> That's what my daughter would say, yo. There's a back pocket, oh my gosh. You guys, I really don't want to mess this bag up. So pretty. So there's a, well, you can slightly see here. Let me see. There we go. There's that bag in the back, which has the tag. Also microfiber, micro, why do I keep saying microfiber? Micro suede lining, micro suede lining. Gorgeous, you guys, gorgeous. First, let's see what, what's inside the bag. Here's the gucci tag that's on the inside again the stamped numbers on the bottom okay you guys those are the two see i can totally but look when i do this look at what happens in the back see how it's kind of bending like if i would have bent this forward so either way i guess it's gonna get the creasing but let me tell you something if you get one with creasing in the back guess what that's gonna go on your back no one's gonna see it get that don't get the one where everyone's gonna see the crease rather again pull this up open like this even if this one gets the one with the straps gets bent a little bit okay so here we go oh, sorry you guys i'm kind of trying to listen to music on my phone but let me pause that for a minute again phone i ate plus okay so here is the phone. There you guys got a good a good view of that. Let me move my, my big old hand. Okay, so I'm trying to lay it horizontally as opposed to vertically because the inside pocket goes from side to side. No go. Can we do it vertically? Of course we can. But look at look at what it does, right? It kind of flips forward, um, flips forward. So if you have anything in there, that's probably not where you got, you're going to want to stick your phone in. Um, let's try the, the other one. Let's, let's see the other pockets. Oh, you guys. My little quarantinis, look it. Look it here. Oh, try not to ruin the bag. So that fit there perfectly, did not struggle like with the last one, fits perfectly, look at how deep that went. So that's perfect, especially, hey, especially if you're holding your bag like this, right? Like, 
like me over here, holding like this to dig in. Perfect, you have it right here. I can pull it out. The phone is snug enough in there. We're in the other pocket. Let me see. In the other pocket, uh, sorry you guys, I'm trying not to ruin this bag. In this other pocket, yes, you can fit something. Unless you have a really thin card holder, I suggest you don't put anything in there. Um, but you could fit even just a card, right? Just a card. Back pocket, I don't know if I would even use it because everything would kind of like fall forward. So if you do have anything in the rest of the compartment, that might be, totally can't even think right now. Um, it would be obstruct, obstructing, <laughs> obstructing you from getting to your other things. So anyhow, take this out. Let's move that to the side. Here we go. The trusty baby wipes. So let's put these in, see if they fit. Oh, okay. So they fit, uh, is it in there? Yes, they fit sideways. Do they fit flat? I normally just throw them in there flat. <gasps> They totally, totally fit flat. Total, total deal maker so far. Fit flat, let's take them out. Question of the day, you guys know my favorite bottle. You guys, look at that. Look at that. It almost, almost closes. Now I do have the smaller version of this bottle, so that would totally work. So there's that. Now, let me give you the measurements because I think I totally skipped out on the measurements for you guys of this bag. So let's see here. Measurements height wise. And you guys, this is just a slightly bit taller than the Fendi, believe it or not. And it doesn't even look like it's taller, to be honest with you. The only thing that probably made the other one look bigger is the big F ring. That's probably why the other one looks taller. Anyhow, this comes in at 9.75 in height, 9.25 in width, and 4.25 in depth. So there you guys have it. That's the Gigi bag. Um, the Gigi Marmont, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I cannot stress enough how beautiful this bag is, how well made, how well structured. I mean, absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Such a great statement. Love to know how you guys take care of your Marmont bags. So if you guys can tell me more about this bag, what you recommend, if you like it, if it's comfortable, how durable it is, what you guys think of the bag. I'd love to hear it all down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys soon.